And this is my last slide, um, and it is, um, again, a, um, a plea to utilize diagnostic evaluations, utilize geneticists. If one child in a family has idiopathic autism spectrum disorder, the recurrence risk is 5 or 6 percent. And if the phenotype is broader, uh, and, and we include Asperger's syndrome, uh, you know, the, and PDD-NOS, the broadest definitions, the recurrence risk can be up to 20 percent, something like 50 times the risk in the general population. Parents want to may, know this, may want to know this before planning. If there are two children, with an autism spectrum disorder, the recurrence risk is greater than 8 percent, perhaps as high as 25 percent. And then finally, if an etiology is determined, depending on what it is, the risk may be raised or, more importantly, may be lowered if, if we know that we're dealing with something that is a sporadic mutation and not like